Well, Sammy really wants you to buy their new Galaxy S7, so much so that if you jump through a few of their hoops, they're gonna give you a free Gear VR headset. For real. Vietnamese website Review Dao purports to show the actual Galaxy S7 in the wild. The image here confirms a couple of details we've been hearing about the Galaxy S7. First, its camera. It's a 12 megapixel unit that is said to be better than the S6's and doesn't protrude as much as Samsung's 2015 flagship. We can see from the picture that the camera is very close to being flush with the body of the alleged S7, while its shape seems to be a little bit rounder. This is something we first reported in our exclusive Galaxy S7 diagram leak, and Korean media later confirmed it. The rumors already pointed to a 3000 mAh battery and a 5.1 inch display for the Galaxy S7. With a 3600 milliamp hour battery and a 5.5 inch display for the Galaxy S7 Edge. Now, an FCC label document confirms the 3600 milliamp hour size, though no similar documentation exists for the S7 so far as we can tell. Netherlands based Android World publication suggests that the S7 and S7 Edge will both go up for pre order on launch day, with an actual ship date being March 11th. Samsung is also sweetening the deal for those who want to pre-order between the 21st of February and the 10th of March by throwing in a free Gear VR. In order to partake of the deal, you apparently just have to sign up with proof of purchase through Samsung's official website. Good luck. But hey, Samsung isn't the only one trying to make a splash in the next month. Let's talk about the LG G5 and its so-called always-on display. This GIF here has been obtained exclusively by Android Authority, and it shows that LG has included the same thinking in its radically redesigned G4 successor, but the LG G5 has a twist. The GIF shows a variety of smartphones gradually growing dark until the silhouette of the LG G5 appears with the time and date of the LG press conference at Mobile World Congress, displayed above a series of notification icons, very similar to what you'd find on LG's V10 second screen. The text, quote, always on, then appears alongside the LG G5 logo. From what we're being told, the LG G5 always on display is actually a full screen version of the V10's second screen, rather than an AMOLED display. That potentially means colors and customization, just like the LG V10, but on a full screen scale. Battery consumption is always a concern where backlit LCDs are concerned so we'll be interested to see how LG will handle that. Now let's talk about the HTC One M10. The One M10 was initially expected to make its debut at Mobile World Congress 2016 in just a few days time, before the current plans for an announcement in London on April 11th leaked into the wild. This week's rumor comes from perennial tipster Evie Leaks, who has a long track record of accurate leaks and suggests we'll see the M10 hit retail stores across the US around May the 9th. The HTC One M10 is rumored to look similar to the One A9 and is expected to sport a 5.1 inch QHD AMOLED display and a 12 megapixel ultra pixel camera with optical image stabilization and laser autofocus. It will run Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow with Sense8 on top and will be powered by a Snapdragon 820 in Europe and an unspecified MediaTek chipset if you're in Asia. Also, according to well-known leaker lab 2 fur the HTC Perfume, aka the HTC One M10, will offer a Samsung 5 megapixel ultra pixel camera on the front and a Sony IMX377 12 megapixel with laser autofocus on the rear. It's the main cam that really piques our interest though, as it happens to be the same sensor found on the Nexus 5X and the Nexus 6P, both of which are regarded as two of the best Android camera phones available. Of course, just because the HTC One M10 uses the IMX377, it doesn't mean it will end up having an amazing camera. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. It certainly appears that most manufacturers are giving us a bump spec with very similar designs from last year's flagships, except for LG. We're expecting big things from LG. LG, don't disappoint us. And don't disappoint me by not checking out my brothers and sister in Android who are working super hard to be your source for all things Android.